Fixing to thin sheet material is never easy. If you want a permanent fixing, you can of course use a rivet. You can use self-tapping screws, but they are not that good. If you need something that's gonna be undone, removed, put back several times, you are much better off using a rivet nut. They look like this, and they are used in pretty much the same way as a rivet is. But once this is inserted into the hole, it leaves you a threaded hole that you can then screw a bolt into and that is there permanently. You can then remove the bolt and reinsert the bolt as many times as you want. It leaves a really good hole in the sheet material that is permanent. So then you can put your bolt in, fix whatever you're fixing to it, come along a few months later and remove it, absolutely no problem at all. If you're doing that with self-tappers, eventually the hole enlarges and the self-tapper will not work. These are a fantastic way of fixing to thin sheet materials. If you wanted to fix to something like Unistrut, on the side there, it is a little bit too thin to tap successfully. So that is where a riv nut or a rivet nut would come in. Also, if you are using thin wall tube like that, and you wanted an hole in the side that you could screw a bolt into, this is where the riv nut comes in. You can successfully use it in applications like this and it will leave you a threaded hole. Normally you'd buy it as a kit. So that is the riv nut machine. That is actually a riveter as well. So you can swap the head onto that and then you can use it for inserting normal rivets. These are the rivet nuts. These do have quite a few different names. Uh, you, they are called nut certs, riv nuts, rivet nuts. They have several different names. We're gonna be using these, which are the M6 size. So I'll now demonstrate how to use them in a piece of thin sheet material. You also get several mandrels with the machine for inserting the different size of rivet nuts. I'll now give you an example of where you could use rivet nuts. Imagine that this piece of thin steel is on a large machine and this is an access hole. So we need this bolt into this, but we need to be able to remove it all the time. So if you use rivets, it would be difficult getting it off. You'd have to drill the rivets off. So I've already drilled two holes there, which align perfectly with the two holes on this guard at the front. So we're now going to insert two rib nuts in there, and then I'll show you exactly how these work. The important thing is drilling the correct sized holes. So I've drilled an hole that is a tight fit on that. That is actually a nine millimeter hole for the six millimeter rib nut. If you look on the inside of that, you can see there are some serrations that will grip. That will actually distort once it's put in the hole and pulled back. So to start off with, we need to get the mandrel and we just screw the rivet nut onto it as far as it will go. We now need to insert that through the hole so that the lip on the rivet nut is flush with the material and then we need to squeeze the handles together. Once you've done that, you can then unscrew this part, which will unscrew the rivet nut off the mandrel. Once you've done that, you are left with a threaded hole in the thin material where you can put your bolt. I'll now just demonstrate this, showing you the back view. So that's the rivet nut inserted all the way. We're now going to squeeze the handles together. and then unscrew the mandrel. That's a piece of material now with the two rib nuts inserted. You can then put the guide on the front of that and we can screw in our bolts that will hold it in position. So that's how to use the rib nuts and that's an example of an application where you could use them. Just give you a view of the back there, you can see that the rib nut is sticking through and also the threads from the bolts are sticking through. <laughs> 